And Roland joins us again to talk about not only our local weather, but of course, Hurricane Harvey. And I think it's always really interesting to hear you talk about the more than a decade that you did you know, in the Miami area in Miami. and yeah. how you would literally hunker down for days at a time as the hurricanes passed over the TV station. It was, it's, it's an event that I can guarantee you the state of Texas is, is pretty much shutting down, especially wow. near the coastline. There is no gasoline, there's no food. Everybody's looking for a place to go to, especially if they live on a barrier island. So the entire state can, in essence, shut down because of these storms as they come on shore. So when it has a big impact like that on the community, you have the responsibility as a broadcaster to stay on the air and keep people informed. But yeah, yeah it's scary. Yeah. It really is, Natalie. And now this is a category three. It's now a major hurricane. You can see the eye just getting ready to come on shore. Looks like Corpus Christi is gonna be ground zero for the actual eye itself. But a hurricane is not a point on a map. A hurricane is a very widespread event and they're gonna be seeing storm surge flooding all the way up the coastline, possibly as far north as Galveston Island and then down here in Brownsville, Texas, it's not going to be that bad. The winds are actually going offshore, so they don't anticipate storm surge flooding south of Corpus Christi, but it's going to be a mess from Corpus Christi and points north. And then the question is, because the storm is going to be stalling, how much rain is going to be falling? I think we're going to be seeing widespread, devastating flooding well inland associated from where this storm is going to be making landfall. 95 degrees is going to be our high temperature tomorrow. 98 degrees on Sunday, 99 on Monday. It is our mass of high pressure, as I mentioned just a couple of minutes ago, that's going to cause our temperature readings to get near record levels that could also impede or restrict Hurricane Harvey from moving inland and dissipating. It could actually suppress and keep the storm very close to the coastline. So air quality for the next few days is going to continue to be moderate, moderate levels of pollution because of some of the stagnation of air that we're going to have as high pressure in the fires continue to burn out west. 68 degrees in the morning for the Capital City Public Market at 11 o'clock, 80 degrees at 1 p.m. It's going to be 85 degrees. And here's your weather headlines. Hotter than normal this weekend, so very summer-like. Lots of hazy sunshine, even hotter conditions on Monday and Tuesday, and the holiday weekend for Labor Day so far, so far based on what I'm seeing, looks pretty nice. There's the influence of the high pressure holding on to much of the gem state right now. Uh, the scattering of showers that we had yesterday continues to race off to the east. There may be a few showers still in the southeastern part of the state, but for us here in the southwestern part of the state, this is what we have to look forward to. Very large and expansive area of high pressure that's going to be building in. And that, my friends, is what's going to guarantee the sunshine as we get into this weekend. So here's the forecast. For the Treasure Valley, first of all, we're seeing temperature readings tomorrow hitting the mid-90s, upper 90s by Sunday, hazy, smoky sunshine. Even up in the mountains, some smoke will be lingering around. Monday, nearly 100 degrees. On Tuesday, partly cloudy skies. On Wednesday, a chance of some showers. The high pressure might actually pull a little tropical moisture up. We may see a scattering of showers. Remember what happened last night? That was moisture being pulled up from the south around high pressure, also connecting a little bit with a cold front, but we could see some scattered showers on Wednesday, but Thursday, Friday, as people head off for the Labor Day weekend, so far it looks sunny and it looks warm. The mountains will be seeing lots of sunshine tomorrow and Sunday, part to cloudy skies on Monday and Tuesday, a potential for some showers or isolated thunderstorms on Wednesday with clearing skies expected in time for the upcoming holiday weekend. I'm already making plans for that weekend. Yeah. And if the temperatures are hot, then anything that has to do with water sounds good to me. Sounds fabulous. Yeah. All right, Roland. Coming up